And so, from what I understand, it is the whole plant, right? It, instead of just an extract of the leaves through alcohol? Correct, correct. And I've used and tested a bunch of different CBD oils, and they're great. Um, but I found that the hemp paste, because it's the whole plant, works much better and it's much stronger. And that's, in fact, backed up by a scientific study. There was an Israeli study that was published in the 2015 Journal of Pharmacology and Pharmacy that showed whole plant CBD was superior in effect to the oil extracts. So the CBD oils are great. Um, some are stronger than others. Um, I've gotten great results with Charlotte's Web and with uh, Sol. Mm -hmm. I think Sol is probably of the CBD oils I've tried Sol, S-O-L, is the strongest, but they still don't work as well, in my experience, as the hemp paste. Yeah, and the hemp paste is cheaper. That's interesting, yeah. And you use very small amounts. I mean, like the size of a green pea, that's about all you need normally. I'm, I'm doing probably six times the uh, recommended dose. <laughs> and it was interesting, when I first started taking it, I took the recommended dose, this little tiny scoop, uh -huh. for a few days, and it was great, you know. and. I thought, well, let's amp this up a bit, so I doubled the dose, and the next day, I didn't want to work. I mean, I was so chilled out and laid back, it's like, yeah, <laughs> I think I want to blow off work. Oh, my gosh. And then uh, I kind of realized, like, why, at first I thought, well, this may be why stoners, you know, don't want to do much, but um, it turned out it was actually a cleanse reaction, but it was a really mild cleanse reaction. Oh, wow. And then I started upping the dose to about five times of the usual, and I started breaking out all over the back of my body because uh, you know I sleep on my back and when you're sleeping your body's detoxing and so this this uh, hemp paste would make me detox up to the point where I'd start breaking out itching on my back and that lasted for a couple of weeks I kind of powered through it and uh, now I take big doses of it and it just you know I just feel good all the time it, it, I don't have any kind of reactions other than feeling good all the time do you have any is there any um, uh, THC in that or is it just CBD no that's the cool thing it's it's legal in all 50 states. It has less than 0.3% THC. And, you know, people debate about whether it's medical marijuana or hemp or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's hemp that has been cultivated to have high levels of CBD and almost no THC in it. So it has no psychoactive effects. And by law, uh, the 2014 Farm Bill in the United States made uh, industrial hemp legal. And in that, it's called the Federal Agricultural Act of 2014 for anybody that wants to look it up. But it declared that hemp raised with less than 0.3% THC was legal. So that the hemp industry could, you know, make hemp for, you know, whatever, industrial purposes. Well, the, the growers of medical marijuana saw that and started uh, hybridizing marijuana or hemp so that it would have high CBD and still meet the requirements of the THC. And so that's why since 2014, you've seen this explosion of CBD oils and extracts and um, hemp paste. It's because it is legal. It meets the DEA's, um, and not, not actually the DEA, it's the uh, uh, Controlled Substances Act. Mm. That's what makes a, a drug legal or not. DEA can only, um, declare administrative law, not criminal law, and they, they cannot, Congress has to vote on whether a drug becomes illegal or not. So recently, probably under pressure from the drug industry, the DEA declared CBD extracts a Schedule One drug, That's which right. lumps it into the same uh, group <laughs> as heroin and you know uh, LSD and a slew of others. Right. But in fact, um, you know, that may be a precursor to them trying something shifty, but they cannot make it illegal. Only Congress can make it illegal, and that's highly unlikely to happen. And if it's not psychoactive, they're not going to probably uh, ban it. Really cool. Hemp paste. I'm going to check that out. That's cool. I like, I like that they're making it with the whole plant. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. And you can actually go on YouTube, and uh, if you have access to this kind of hemp, uh, you can make it yourself. The process is called carboxylation. All right. And basically, you just powder the the, the hemp, and then um, you cook it and mix it with a carrier oil, like coconut oil or glycerin or something. And uh, there's a guy named Peter Eugene on Facebook who has videos showing how to do it. I'm gonna look him up. Peter Eugene. Mm -hmm. He has a radio program. He's a wonderful guy, and he has a lot of. Uh, empowering health information and interviews with people 
and he's got a YouTube video he, he launched recently about how to make uh, your own hemp paste. 